One second. That's the first time I'm having you. <laughs> It's a shell. I want to meet the financing authority. That's in the beginning. I've never met him before. Not finding it for some reason. Very front. Very, very front. Gosh. When was I elected? How much do I get? I mean, I never knew this. Okay. It was a poor man. I didn't know about it, and I get no pay. Uh, let me let me welcome you to the Tuesday, April 14, 2009 meeting, a joint meeting of the Glendale City Council and the Glendale Financing Authority. <laughs> Mr. Kasaki, could you call the roll for the council, please? Council members Njarian? Here. Quintero? Here. Weaver? Here. Yousefian? Here. Mayor Draymond? Who's the chair? Here. And um, this is a good question. Yeah, who's the chair of the finance authority? <laughs> Yeah. You? See, Mr. Well, <laughs> see, Mr. Grant. We also need to roll. Coming forward. We're trying to figure out who. He must be chair. the chair. It's yeah. the mayor, the chair of the financing yes. authority. How about that? Congratulations. You didn't even know. And this is the first time I've been able to take this costume out and wear it, and it's on my last day. Wouldn't. So I'm, I'm very lucky. Well, it doesn't come with a dashing hat or anything, does it? Uh, All right. <laughs> every seven years. So it's like cicada is what you're saying. It's like locust. It's here every once every seven years. Okay. All right. Uh, do we need a roll call for the... Uh, okay, I guess we do. Mr. Kasakin, could we call roll for the uh, for the, the uh, financing authority? Authority members Najarian? Here. Montero? Here. Weaver? Here. Yusefian? Here. Chair Draymond? Here. All right. Very good. Uh, could we hear the report, please, Mr. Kasakin? The agenda for the April 14, 2009 joint meeting of the Glendale City Council and the Glendale Finance Authority was posted on Thursday, April 9, 2009 on the bulletin board outside City Hall. Okay, thank you. And could we hear the item at 1A? 1A at 1 is City Treasurer regarding request uh, authorization to open an account with the local agency investment fund, LAIF. At 1A is a resolution authorizing the deposit and withdrawal of the Glendale Financing Authority's monies in the local agency investment fund in the State Treasury in accordance with the provisions of Section 16429.1 of the Government Code for the purpose of investment as stated therein and verification by State Treasurer's Office of all banking information provided in that regard. Thank you very much, Mr. Kasaki. Let us go to our city treasurer, Mr. Baruki. Yes, uh, Mr. Mayor and uh, Councilman, as well as Glendale Finance Authority Chairman and Board Members, the city treasurer's office recommends that the Glendale Financing Authority approve the resolution to open an account in the local agency investment fund, the state pool. Um, the specific purpose would be to generate additional income for the city. Uh, the local agency investment fund uh, acts very similarly as a money market fund. And as such, the city currently uses the local agency investment fund as well as money market funds. For the last several months, ever since we've had this economic crisis hit the nation and rates have collapsed and we've got a compression of rates in the marketplace, the local agency investment fund has done considerably better than the money market funds to the degree that it is worth considering opening up another account in LAIF and take advantage of that interest rate uh, advantage. Uh, for example, at the time this report was written, uh, the local agency, rep local agency investment fund was yielding 1.85 percent while money market funds were averaging uh, 45 basis points. It's less than one half of one percent. That's a differential of uh, all, that's a differential of one point four percent, almost one and a half percent. That's huge in a compressed marketplace. Um, if we had moved, or if we had forty million dollars and moved it from our money market fund and put it into life to take advantage of that differential, it, it would be worth approximately forty five, forty six thousand dollars a month, or on an annual basis, that'd be about five hundred and sixty thousand. Going forward, we're looking that that differential probably will level out on the low side at about 1% uh, to as high as maybe 1.25%. Uh, on $40 million being moved from money market funds into the local agency investment fund, that's additional earnings of anywhere between $400,000 to $500,000.
So with that, in summary, the City Treasurer's Office recommends that the Glendale Financing Authority approve the resolution to open an account with the local agency investment fund managed by the State Treasurer's Office. All right. Thank you, Mr. Berkey. Do I have any uh, – I have no speaker cards, by the way, so let me see if I – any comments from a council uh, colleague, or I should say council colleagues and finance authority <laughs> uh, colleagues. Mr. Weaver. As a finance authority member, I'd like to move 1A. All right. Second it. We have a motion to second. Is there any other discussion? I have some questions. Mr. Najarian. Um, uh, Mr. Baruki, tell us, uh, first off, how is it that LAIF is uh, obtaining such a higher yield compared to money market funds? Structural differences. Um, um, I think I mentioned in my remarks that LAIF, it, the local agency investment fund, is considered similarly to money market funds. Uh, it, it is not. It is not structured. It's structured differently. Um, it enjoys the same conveniences of easy in and easy out. In other words, if we have money um, in in the money market fund as well as in LAIF, we can get our money back within one day. Um, the real differential is on money market funds, they're registered with the Securities Exchange Commission, and money market funds are re regulated to have a life of no more than, not a life, they can't have an investment in, in their fund longer than 13 months. There isn't that restriction with the local agency investment fund. That makes a big difference. Um, usually money market funds also are prescribed by, as, as to what and, and, and it's usually identified as to what they will make investments in, usually treasuries, repurchase agree agreements of treasuries, or treasuries and agencies. Very rarely do you have a mix with something other than that. Local agency investment fund being part of the state pool, actually part of the state pooled money investment board, actually has uh, the ability to, to invest in other instruments other than just treasuries or repurchase agreements or just federal agencies. Corporates come to mind. So, how about the risk factor? Uh, I don't see the the, the amount of um, uh, corporates. If that if that's where you're pointing to or directing your comments as far as risk, uh, is kind of is in my opinion minuscule. Uh, I listened to the state treasurer give his annual report last October, as the uh, as the implosion was occurring, and came back very very comfortable with with their operation. Several months back, some of the state pooled funds, and I forget which one, ran into trouble. Uh, they became illiquid, I think. Uh, and you can probably correct me on that. Do we have any of those type of risks with these investments? Not that I'm aware of. And who oversees this, this LAIF? I mean, uh, I don't want to find out that there's a Bernie Madoff at the top who's who's taken uh, municipalities for a ride. Is there some sort of oversight? Yes, Oh, well, let's see. The local agency investment fund has oversight by the local agency investment advisory board. Um, the local agency investment fund, I think I mentioned to you, uh, has a, a a pot of money within the pooled money investment board funds program itself. The and that is, let's see if I can't give you an idea as to what the composition of that is. Oh. The total there is approximately $65 billion. Uh, it's managed by the state treasurer's office, their investment people. Uh, it's comprised of basically three funds. The local agency investment fund, which represents right now about $21 billion of that 60 to $65 billion. Uh, they've got special special funds and their general and the, and the state's general fund. So it's a par a parceled out that way. Uh, basically, uh, what would that represent? About a, a third, 30, 33 to 35 percent of the of the total. Um, I don't know about the losses that you were referencing in some of the pools. I'm not familiar with that. At least I know it does not apply to anything that's impacting the pooled money investment board or the local agency investment board. As far as oversight goes, there is also oversight on the pooled money investment board itself. And, and that board is comprised of the chairman, which would be the, the state treasurer. Uh, then, then you have the, the state controller, and you've got the director of finance. Is there any, op any possibility that through uh, act of 
the assembly or the senate that the uh, revenue from these LAFE proceeds from these LAFE investments could be obtained, borrowed, triple flipped, or in any other manner uh, removed from our our immediate control. I mean, is it subject to? Does the legislature have any authority over payment of these funds? I mean, we're talking forty million that we're going to put in. Up to right, forty, up right? Up to forty million. I presume we'll. We would get hope close to. to that. We would hope to. Sure. Um, I just don't want Sacramento. As Sacramento's budget melts down, perhaps further, uh, I want to make sure that this money is safe and not just the principal, but also the uh, the interest that we're getting and that won't well, be at risk by the assembly. Well, trust me, Mr. Nizdari, and I'm also very concerned not only with the interest but also getting our principal back. Uh, let, there, there are two items that are of particular concern to me, and when I when I consider risk, and that would be. Is the, is the, can the state go bankrupt? And according to, it's been determined that the state of California cannot declare bankruptcy under the federal regulations. So therefore, in the government code section, and I can read the code section to you, but let's just skip over that for this, uh, for for the time being. The section states that um, the government code shall not be subject to either. Uh, impoundment or seizure by any state official or state office, nor is it is, are, are our deposits in the local agency investment fund uh, can be transferred or loaned out. And secondarily, uh, another concern of, of municipal treasurers, uh, Baruchi included, is that what happens if the state fails to pass a budget by whatever time? Can a state official or can a state agency come in and um, and the government code addresses that also, that ruling was made, so that um, the right of a city to withdraw its deposited money from the local agency of investment fund upon demand may not be altered, impaired, or denied based upon the state's failure to adopt a state budget by the budget deadline date each year. So on those levels, I'm very comfortable that the money that we put in there, we will get back. You might ask how long has late the local agency investment fund been around? Uh, is don't, it something? Don't, don't prompt the witness, please. <laughs> I'm sorry. Mr. City Manager. Well, I was going to add, uh, LAFE has been around a long time through a number of crises by the state, including those back in the 90s where uh, they, they first began taking local money. And in all of those instances, LAFE has never been a target <coughs> for the state in the worst of times. Based on those representations, I feel confident to move in this direction. Okay. Mr. Yusefian, anything? All right. Anything else? Uh, do we have a uh, well? We we have a motion and second already. All right, let us call the roll for now. Can we call the roll for both the council and the? Uh, Actually, this is just the financing authority resolution. Okay. All right. Yes, it, it even says that. All right. Very good. Mr. Kasakian, could you call the roll for the financing authority, please? Authority members and Jarian. Yes. Quintero. Yes. Weaver. Aye. Yusefian. Aye. Chair Draymond. Yes. And I hope that all of us, when we meet next time, will refrain from becoming illiquid ourselves. <laughs> so. Move to adjourn for the financing authority. Second. Okay. We are adjourned. Move to adjourn for council. Second. Council is adjourned. Thank you all.